Welcome, this is Edmonton Real Estate Today and I'm your host, Leroy Warden. And today I have with me Cheryl Stevens of Remax. Cheryl, welcome. Good morning, Leroy. <laughs> Good morning. So Cheryl, thanks for joining me today. And uh, we're here just to update our, our guests about uh, the real estate market. But before we do that, are there any festivals or events that are coming up in July that you think people should know about? You know what, yes. What I love is we've got the Edmonton Street Performers tomorrow, so July 10th to the 15th. And then actually Klondike Days, which everyone knows about, is actually the 20th to the 29th this year. And something interesting I just learned about was there's something called Lawn Summer Nights that people could go online, Google, and it's all about lawn bowling. And I believe it happens like the 12th and the 16th and the 19th. So definitely they should check it out. Oh, awesome. So Cheryl, how is the market in terms of new listings, sales, and inventory? We end up getting um, 3,672 new listings on the market for the month of June. Mm -hmm. You know, our sales slowed down a little bit because we only sold 1,678 homes in the whole month of June. Okay. But we do have a grand total for inventory of 10,230 properties on the market as we sit right now. The Alberta government uh, reported in June of 2018 on an employment rate of 6.5%, which is down from a year ago at 7.5%. Now, in terms of the average home price, what is that uh, as of June 2018? So the average single family home is actually selling for 443,210. So we actually are up a little bit in the actual single family average price point from last month. What about the average price of condominiums? So the average condominiums are selling right now at $238,141, which has actually decreased a little bit from last month, so from May 2018. Oh, okay. The prime rate hasn't changed uh, since uh, January of 2018. How is the days on market for, for homes, condos, and so on? Um, single family homes, honestly, right now are sitting at about 50 days. So if the average days on the market is about 50. Condos are a little bit slower to sell, so they're at 67. And then what we're noticing is those have actually, um, they're sitting a little bit longer than they were May. So in May last month, they were selling a little bit quicker. Whereas I find that duplex actually, this month we're actually about days on the market are 57, whereas last month they were at 59. So duplex is the one thing again, that's selling just a little bit quicker than it was. What are the top three neighborhoods in terms of sales for June of 2018? So we're looking at Chappelle was in third place. Mm -hmm. um, Oliver came in second and then actually Summerside had um, 30 sales in last month. And they're the number one selling. And they're selling. the number one selling, exactly. The oh, number okay. one area selling would be in Summerside. That's awesome. Which are the neighborhoods with the greatest number of listings for June of 2018? So in third spot would be Windermere, and then we go to downtown would be number two, and Oliver actually took one number one spot with 23 new listings coming on the market in June. The highest priced homes that have sold and where in June of 2018? So Leroy, the highest priced single family home sold in Crestwood for $1,749,000. Then we actually had a condo sell for $783,000. And you know what? Those duplexes are obviously still doing super well because over in Hazeltine, there was a duplex that sold for one million fifty. Oh wow. Yeah. How was the overall market in June of 2018 in comparison to May of 2018? Um, single family homes had an increase of 0.19%, whereas condos actually decreased from last month to 1.42%. And then duplexes follow suit and they actually decreased as well by 1.64%. Overall, we're down a little bit this month from last month, but you know, we hope that now that people get set into their holidays, they'll get focused on buying that home before school starts. So we're hoping that things will pick up in this next month. Oh, that'd be awesome. Mm -hmm. So Cheryl, where would people be able to reach out to you if they had more questions? They could definitely reach out to me by just calling me at 780-717-5613 um, or shooting me an email at sstevens at remax.net. Thank you so much for coming out and we look forward to your update next month. No problem, thanks Lee.